If you've been watching my channel for a while, you have undoubtedly heard me call the Yellow Corporation the Grim Reaper of Trucking. And I believe it. The Yellow Corporation has killed so many great companies, and I've done a lot of stories about those companies. But let's talk today about the company that survived Yellow. They, they beat the cancer that is Yellow. And that is Saya, who ironically because of yellow going under is now going to be one of the biggest LTL carriers in the world. So this is a happy story. There's been so many sad stories with yellow going out of business. You know, what was it? I guess about uh, seven months ago now. And we've done so many stories about companies that were, you know, went down with them. Uh, unfortunately, new pen, um, you know, New Penn, Holland, or USF groups, you know, so many of them. But Saya was the company that got away. And we'll talk about how it happened, why it happened. And uh, yeah, and then we'll talk about the kind of company that they are today. Uh, but they actually started, I didn't know this. I thought they were a fairly new company. It's because I'm in Pennsylvania and they weren't really up here uh, until, you know, the last 20 or so years. But in 1924, Louis Sia Sr., uh, he was a produce dealer from Huma, Louisiana. And until he, repl he replaced that because he figured out that he could make more money hauling the produce than actually dealing in the produce. Now, this may be one of the most interesting first trucks ever um, for, for, for a trucking company because he actually removed the back seats of his car and Sai was born. That was the uh, that was their first truck. Was his car with the back seats removed? I wish I could find a picture of that. I don't know what kind of car it was. I, I really don't know anything about it. But um, yeah, that's interesting. Now the history of them it doesn't talk too much more about anything, uh, except that they did eventually become an LTL carrier, and uh, of course now one of the largest LTL carriers in the world. Uh, by the 1980s, they had 23 terminals in five southeastern states, and they had over 1,000 employees and $50 million per year in revenue. So it was in 1987, so 63 years after Sia's inception, that the Sia family sold the company to Preston. I couldn't find anything out about what generation it was, whether it was the end of the second generation retiring or the third generation, you know, just saw a good time to sell it. But they sold it to Preston, the 151 line. And if you want to know the history of Preston, I'll put it up here in the top right corner because I did do a story on Preston in the past. Uh, pretty good story. So, unfortunately, in 1993, Preston was sold to the Grim Reaper of Trucking, the Yellow Corporation. Uh, so they also acquired Saya and another Preston acquisition that was called Smalley Transportation. I couldn't find much out about Smalley. I did find a couple of uh, like hats and stuff online, but uh, really didn't find that much out about that company. And uh, so in 1995, they merged Smalley into Saya. So then they just had Saya. So it was in 2002 that Saya and Jevic were sold to a, uh, a new independently traded company called SCS. Now, I also did the Jevic story up here, another company taken down by Yellow. Uh, of course, they were sold off, but by then, Yellow had already ruined the company pretty much, and then it was just bad management after that going down. But with Saya being spun off like that, that may have been the saving grace. That may have been the... You know, you are free of a horrible disease, which is being owned by Yellow. So in 2004, the owner of Saya, the SCS, uh, oh, let me see, it lost a place here a little bit. There we go. In 2004, they acquired Clark Brothers Transportation. So now in 2006, after years of Jevic not making money uh, because they were sold to yellow and taken down pretty much. Uh, again, watch the story because uh, you will learn how much of a thriving company it was when yellow had it, uh, you know, under the eyes of Harry Milschlegel. And, uh, but they sold Jevic to Sun Capital Partners in 2006. That's also in the story. And uh, uh, unfortunately it's a sad ending, just like so many. Um, 
But for Saya, when they did this, they changed the name to just Saya from the SCS and they combined all remaining divisions into just Saya. So all the small divisions that they had, they got rid of Jevic and combined them all. And now you had a much bigger Saya. So they also moved all operations from Kansas City uh, to Saya's main headquarters in Duluth. So Saya was based out of Duluth, but the main headquarters for the company were in Kansas City. Of course, that's where Yellow is from. So they moved everything, and basically now they're focusing on this one, this one great company. So with Saya now on the rise, in 2006, they also acquired LTL carrier, the Connection Company of Columbus, Ohio, followed by the purchase of Madison Freight Systems of Wanakee, Wisconsin in 2007. So in 2012, Saya acquired a 3PL broker named Robart Transport. They immediately rebranded it into the Saya name. And this was actually the first time that Saya started going into a non-asset based transportation. So uh, basically a brokerage up until then, uh, they were basically just working on expanding their trucking business. And, uh, so then, not too long after that, in 2015, they bought another 3PL company called LinkX for $25 million. And this took them a lot farther into modal, intermodal, and international transportation because that was what LinkX was focused on, or they were in that business. They were in the intermodal and international business and had an office in Mexico. Uh, they combined the former Robart into LinkX and they continue operations as a subsidiary of SIA to this day. So, in the meantime, they're just sitting back watching other companies go under. And in December 2003, SIA bought 17 terminals that the now defunct Yellow used to own. Uh, actually, including our local terminal here in, uh, in Carlisle. Carlisle is the closest Yellow terminal to where I live. Um, now, as they kept downsizing over the years, and Saya is actually right next door to them. And so I don't know if they're going to keep their original terminal, but the yellow terminal is much larger. But this gives them so much more capacity. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for the company just knowing, you know, how they survived. Um, because as of the end of 23, Saya has 194 terminals and over 13,000 employees. And I am sure with the yellow demise, they are gonna pick up a lot of great drivers uh, that went down, you know, with yellow, unfortunately. And uh, uh, so that, that's a good sign. These drivers can still have good jobs. Uh, I don't know much about their pay. I don't actually even know anybody that works for them. Uh, but obviously I see their trucks on the road. You know, I see them doing line haul up and down the road and I see them doing, uh, you know, P and D all over town. So, yep, good for Saya. This, this was a happy story. And I hope that this company continues to thrive into the future. I know, uh, you know, I'm Lisa Landstar. I've never actually done any of the work, but they do contracts and work to Landstar, things like that. And they just, just seem to be a good company. Drivers that I know that have done that uh, through Landstar have, have really, you know, really like it and try to keep doing it. So anyway, great company is, this is, this is one of the feel good stories. This was one of the good ones. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did like subscribe, share, uh, you know, all that good stuff that you hear on all videos. And, uh, again, I always say, you know, comment below. Uh, I love reading all the comments and I try to respond to most of them. Um, also, if not, you can reach me. You can email me at finchresources at gmail.com. Finch is like the bird. That's my last name. That's why we named the company that. And you can also find me on Facebook or Instagram under the trucking resources name. On top of that, we now have a website. We sell some swag. I also sell some products, uh, some products like bull snot, some Pittsburgh power stuff. Uh, but we got some swag for the... Uh, for the channel now, but you can check out our website too at uh, finchresources.com. So thanks a lot guys and I will catch you on the next one.